Hi, I'm Heather from Dollar Store Crafts and today I am just going to show you really quick the Silhouette Rhinestone Setting Kit. You have these templates, special templates for the rhinestones and they have little circles in them. You cut that out with your Silhouette into the special uh, rhinestone setting film. So this is kind of how it goes. You dump the rhinestones onto the design like so and you use this brush tool to very gently kind of brush across the design. It was a little bit of a technique challenge for me to get it to work really well, but if you watch the videos online, everyone else seems to be able to just get it done immediately, so I don't know what my problem is. But It basically fills in all the holes with rhinestones. Anything that's stray, you use this special silhouette pick-me-up tool. It has a little bit of sticky tack stuff in, in the tip and you can just pick up the rhinestones with a sticky tip. Uh, and then when that's all filled in, you take a big sheet of, transfer, of rhinestone transfer paper and you stick it on top and then you kind of rub the rhinestones to make sure they're all sticky and then you peel it off and you get what looks like this. Um, uh, I just want to say though that this is my first time and I, I, uh, I downloaded this owl template from the Silhouette store. It was the freebie of the week and it wasn't as easy as I was hoping and I just found it really hard to get it all filled in correctly without messing disturbing the different sizes of rhinestones so I ended up actually putting it together pretty much all by myself with the tool but hopefully with a little practice it'll get a little easier but it did take me about 15 minutes to get that design done. You put this on the spot where you want it. I put it on a shirt with a, a polo shirt with a pocket because I thought it would be kind of funny to um, have the owl sitting on the edge of the pocket. So I'm going to cover it with a dish towel, a thin dish towel, and then I'm going to set my uh, iron on it. My iron is set to wool. All right, let's see if that worked. All right, got it all off. That looks really cute. So now I just need to turn the garment inside out and iron on the back of it. What it's going to do now is it's going to melt the glue into the fabric from the back, so it should really set those rhinestones in well. Here's what it looks like. All done. It's pretty cute. Uh, I like it, so I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope this helps you out a little bit.